see on uh, previously about a year ago or so. Jeff, good morning. Great to have you back. Good morning, Rob. Thanks for having me here. Was it you we spoke with about a year ago? Yes, it was. Excellent. Well, it's wonderful to have you here again. And uh, you guys are going to hit the big time very soon. What's going on? Well, we were very uh, surprised and delighted to have received a, an invitation to perform at Carnegie Hall in New York City. Maybe you could explain how this came about. I, I can. In December, uh, on our holiday concert, we performed two movements of a piece by composer Carl Jenkins called Gloria. And there was a recruiter from Distinguished Concerts International New York, a production company, who was looking for choirs around the country that had performed that piece and found us on our website and our Facebook page and extended an invitation. However, we had to audition first, and there are some recordings on our Facebook page of our spring concert, and she heard those pieces, sent them off to their audition committee, and lo and behold, we received an acceptance to do that performance. It's in January. Um, we'll be in New York from the 17th to the 21st with a performance at Carnegie Hall with a professional orchestra on January 20th. That's amazing. It is. How many members of the chorus are there and how many will make the trip? That's an excellent question. We have 40 to 45 members currently, and there are 20 singers going and six uh, friends and family accompanying us on that trip as well. How long will the show, or your part of the show, last? Um, this piece is about 45 minutes long. So, as I said, we've already sung the first two movements of it, and there are five. So we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, we have an entirely separate program that we're doing on our December holiday concert, so we've got a lot of music to learn. And the show that you folks do, will there be other performers there as well? Are you part of a greater uh, performance that's being... Yes, we are. Um, this recruiting person, program consultant, was scouring the country uh, for choirs that would be part of this. So it's probably going to be a, a group of around 200 to 250 singers with the orchestra. Will you get to go to New York and get used to the orchestra that you're going to be singing in front of? Yeah, there's there are two half-day rehearsals, um, four hours each, and then a dress rehearsal with the orchestra before the performance. And how much is this going to cost? Because four days in New York sounds expensive. It is expensive, indeed. Uh, the, the grand total is 40000 plus. The chorus members have committed, pledged about 21500 themselves toward that expense. So we're in a major fundraising campaign to recover the other 20500 Um the singers are underwriters of the performance, so that's where their cost comes in, but then we have the cost of travel, we're taking a charter bus, and the cost of lodging. Uh, we'll be staying a few blocks from Carnegie Hall at the Meridian Central Park Hotel. Um, so that's that's the expense, well, and plus counting meals mm -hmm. while we're there for four days. So we've reached out to City National Bank and the Chamber of Commerce and where else did I put the word out? Oh, that's good. Um, Maria, did you and Height want to open the bidding at twenty thousand dollars? <laughs> <laughs> Mike Height, you go. I'm I'm sort of uh, sort of recovering uh -huh. from that. Yeah, Maria, by the way, put in the winning backpack uh, bid for uh, the football tickets to the WVU Penn State game. Afterward, I think a lot of people wanted a refund. Yeah, but you're probably right. You're probably right on that. Yeah. but um, that should be a good game. Yeah. So Jeff, tell it us. Wasn't. Yeah, it yeah. was not. Jeff, tell us your um, your background. How long you've been with the chorus? How long you've been the director? Correct. Yes. Okay. Uh, I founded the chorus uh, in 2012. My wife and I retired from Fairmont, where I was a professor at Fairmont State University for a long time, as director of choral activities. And when we moved here, I was looking at the arts scene in Berkeley County and discovered that there was no 
community choral group, so I started this one, the Berkeley Community Chorus. This is our 12th season coming up. Um, we perform on the second Saturday of December and the third Saturday of May every year. Uh, we have auditions coming up. Speaking of, of that, on October 1st, St. John's Lutheran Church between 7 and 9 p.m. So folks who are interested in singing with us need to schedule an audition with me. It takes about 10 minutes. And, um, I don't think we've turned anybody down yet. If they oh. make it, will they go to New York? No. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, that's already been determined. I love so. the way you answered that so quickly. <laughs> no. I, I love that he says he hasn't turned anybody down. My music teacher back in, in, in high school told me, just don't come back and I'll give you a C. That's so really it, bad. It was terrible. Yeah, I would go sit, sit out on the field. But I couldn't even do the triangle or any of the, the chorus. <laughs> just not musically just gifted. Not musically gifted. Did you play an instrument? Maybe? I did not play an instrument, but I did sing, and I was just not even average. Um, and I can remember one time, you'll appreciate this, um, our high school chorus sang at um, South Hills Village oh, yeah. um, in the mall. And They had a great Christmas setup. Yeah, they, yeah. Really, they really did. So, you know, they had choruses from different schools, and at one point... Um, the nun who was directing us said, Maria, you're going to sing, um, Silent Night. You're going to do the, the piece of that. And I was like, am I? Okay. So the, as the story goes, my mother is walking down the mall and she hears my voice coming and she was like, oh, <laughs> why is that girl singing? Why, why? Yeah. So average at best. Um, you got the solo. Yeah, but I had to solo there. And, you know, it's one of those memories that sort of stays with you. You know, when, mothers were the most loving people on the planet. Yeah. When, when you say that your mother heard you singing, you went, oh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's revealing. I would, have, I would have expected a little better reaction. Yeah, that. exactly. <laughs> exactly. But I tried hard. Uh -huh. So so there was that. But Jeff, um, can you make a bad singer a better singer? I been trying to do that for <laughs> my entire career yeah so to that point with, mm -hmm. with the Berkeley Community Chorus we we do have folks with just a little bit of choir experience who for whatever reason have decided they want to do this thing now um, and then we actually have had some singers with professional training uh, one of our founding members was singing opera in Germany during the highlight of her career. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Um, can you hide? But I mean, that's that's kind of the, the spectrum that mm. we have. So Can you hide I, a bad singer within a good... Within a chorus? Within a chorus? Yes. No, yes, okay. you can. Is that now do you want to sign up, Mike? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you, trust me, you want... <laughs> I, I know this from personal You'll experience. Ask me to be the financier Just don't instead. stand behind me. <laughs> you don't want the bad singer standing behind you, because if you're like sort of kind of medium and you got the person behind you just like no i can't even know so you got to find a place for them right i, I want to disqualify my answer because <laughs> in, in the berkeley community course we don't have any bad singers sure because you wouldn't accept them well i said i've it, i've taken everybody so far and i will continue to do that with the exception that if a person can't carry a tune in a right. basket as the expression goes <laughs> right. I'm, I'm sorry but yeah. we have some really talented singers in our Rotary Club. And yeah, I've noticed that too. Yeah. So, um, so your concert then that you give in December and May is it at the Apollo? I'm trying to think of where where you perform. Yeah, we've I, all, we've always done the Christmas concert at a church. Okay, and, and we've we've sung at practically all of the downtown Martinsburg churches now. Uh, a couple of times at St. Leo Catholic Church in Inwood. Um, I haven't set where we're going to be yet this December, but it, we've performed four times at the Apollo. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, actually, we're looking forward to next May with them because they're going to have their new marquee up by then, I think. And that 1.5 million that they just got to uh, renovate the building <coughs> yes, is, is nice. fantastic. Yeah. By the way, so, I, I'll throw this opportunity. If you need a little warm up act to, to get yourself go, going, you're welcome to come in in December, do a little you know a couple of christmas songs on the show we'd be glad to have you okay i don't think you can squeeze you know 40 people in here but you could probably pack 10 or 12 
Okay. We've done that before, mm -hmm. right? We sure have. Yeah. That would be fun. You can get a little test run. Or if you want to put together a quartet, do you guys break down into smaller groups? Uh, not usually, but we have done caroling uh, where not everybody can make it. Yeah, well, so here we are. Great. So the offer's there. Good, good. I won't harass you, <laughs> but it is there. Yeah. So how are you going to raise your other $20,000, Jeff? I know you put the word out to a couple of folks. Are you doing a fundraiser or anything like that coming up? Yeah, we have several things coming up. Um, on October 13th, I believe it is. Um, we're doing a spirit night at Jersey Mike's at the Commons. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing a big bingo fundraiser at St. Louis Leo Catholic Church. And uh, come to think of it, that's the one that's October 13th and maybe the 28th. I have to, <laughs> I'd have to go back and look at my fundraising chairperson, but sure. uh, we can watch the news for this stuff. Um, Bingo is a great fundraiser. Yeah, it <laughs> I is. just have to say, yeah. The um, Elizabeth Webster at the chamber has been so kind as to do an email blast with our poster for how you can donate for local businesses uh, and corporations. So there's that. Um, the way to donate are, is three different ways. We have a GoFundMe page in that search box. If you just type Berkeley Community Chorus. Um, you'll see our account come up. You can go to any City National Bank branch and donate to Berkeley Community Chorus, Inc. And you could send a personal check payable to the Berkeley Community Chorus, not to me personally, please, although I take it. Uh, and we'll put that into our account. Um, and how does it get sent to you? What's, what address should they use? That would be 247 Crushed Apple Drive, Martinsburg, 25403. Crushed Apple Drive. Crushed Apple. Gotcha. All right. Uh, anything else you need to make sure we know about for this big trip to, to New York? Is there any chance that you won't go to New York? I think the only thing that would stop us would be the weather. Otherwise, you're uh, there. If we can't get there on a bus, the, right. that would do it. But, Charter buses, uh, are they can go through... Lots of lots of weather. So, are you chartering a bus, or are you guys all driving up individually? Yeah, we have a charter bus. Charter, okay. Yeah, there that's uh, that represents about sixty five hundred actually of our expenses. It's expensive. Um, yeah. No, other than other than encouraging everybody to help us out and to uh, uh, come to our performance on December fourteenth, uh, location TBD. All right. Any idea how much that will cost? The concert. Yeah. Uh, tickets are fifteen dollars for adults, ten dollars for seniors, and children twelve and under are free. Very good. And uh, any idea what the tickets in New York are going to cost? Mm, I don't have that information. I'll bet they're a lot more than fifteen dollars. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good to see you, man. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks. And uh, if you need anything else, look, give me a yell, man. I appreciate it, Rob.